kind of urge you to watch tomorrow as well. <laughs> yeah. Today, today we're talking running because of the Boston Marathon today. You say you want to, you're getting ready for your second one. Your first marathon, it took you a while to get ready for it, but your mm -hmm. first marathon was in Detroit. That's yes. your hometown. My hometown, Detroit. And um, I did it because my family never knew about this whole running thing. You know, every time I say I'm running a race, whether it's a 5K or a 10K, oh, you ran a marathon? Like, oh, no. <laughs> You don't know what it is until you try it. So, you know, to actually have them out there and sitting in the cold and to say, all right, when's Marty coming? <laughs> and, you know, six hours later, I'm at the finish line. This is you when you first started, right? Yes, so you're up and over 300 pounds around. there. Yeah. And, and, and the next pictures we'll see here is uh, that's you finishing the Detroit Marathon. Yeah, that's me coming up to the finish line and, you know, hands up in, in glory and say, you know, thank you. I, I can't believe I did it. Um, to actually just run that thing was just amazing. So why in the world do you do it again? <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> right? Excellent. So you say you want to do the, the Hartford Marathon. Yes, you know, the next Hartford. Uh, the next marathon I have on my sites is the Hartford. Uh, if it was up to me, I'll run a marathon in every state. Mm. Um, you know, one of the things that I pride myself on is like, you never see a obese marathon runner. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things that keeps me going is, um, you might see a overweight first timer, you know, he might be a little chubbier the second time, but around the third or fourth time, he's not that obese anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What will you do different training for this one that you didn't do in the first time? What did you learn? Um, what's interesting is um, you never know how you can actually do the thing until you do it. So um, the whole training schedule with running up to 20 miles, 21 miles, and not actually doing 26 mm -hmm. until like the day of the race, it really mess with your nerves. Yeah. So one of the things that I'll do is trust my training, right. uh, follow a training plan that I think is very um, – that can work with my schedule mm -hmm. and just follow it. Great. Good luck. We are running out of time. We want to hear all about it on SportsEdge.com. So continue contributing to SportsEdge.com. We thank you for joining us. Thank you. Head over to News 8 WTNH for News 8 at 11. We'll see you on the other side.